The ADA and ABA standards address access for various types of disabilities and mobility aids. Some provisions are best understood in relation to the use of wheelchairs and powered devices. This animation illustrates wheelchair maneuvering and requirements in the standards for clearances, floor surfaces, and reach ranges. Space at least 30 inches wide and 48 inches long is required to accommodate an occupied wheelchair. To allow room for movement and sway, accessible routes must provide a continuous clear width of at least 36 inches. The width can reduce to a 32 inch minimum at points, such as doorways. Segments with a reduced width are limited to a depth of 24 inches, and there must be a separation of at least 48 inches between them. Where routes make a turn around an obstruction, additional space is required depending on the tightness of the turn. If an obstruction is at least 48 inches wide, additional clear width is not required. If an obstruction is less than 48 inches wide, the route clear width can remain 36 inches minimum if at least 60 inches is provided at the turn to facilitate maneuvering. Otherwise, the clear width must be at least 42 inches approaching the turn, 48 inches minimum at the turn, and 42 inches beyond the turn. Space at least 60 inches wide provides room for wheelchairs to pass. Where routes are less than 60 inches wide, Passing space 60 inches by 60 inches minimum is required at 200 foot intervals. Passing space can also be achieved at route intersections with segments at least 48 inches deep. Maneuvering clearances required at doors, which are sized according to the approach and swing, usually require additional space beyond the minimum clear width of routes. Room for turning is required in certain spaces such as toilet rooms and dressing rooms. Turning space can be provided in the form of a 60-inch minimum diameter circle or a T-shaped space. Maneuvering for turns varies by mobility aid and personal preferences and abilities. With manual chairs, moving wheels in opposite directions is the most efficient way to turn. Turns can also be made by keeping one wheel stationary. Among powered devices, the turning radius can vary greatly. Objects that provide space for knees and toes can overlap turning space. Minimizing such overlap or avoiding it altogether is advisable to provide easier access, especially for larger devices such as scooters and power chairs. Turning space can also be provided in the shape of a T that is at least 60 inches by 60 inches overall, with segments at least 36 inches wide. This space can be oriented for approach on any segment of the T. Objects with knee and toe space can overlap only one segment of the T so that the other two remain clear for approach and backing up. Turning within the minimum dimensions specified can be difficult using scooters and similar devices that have a larger turning radius. The availability of additional space beyond the minimum required will ease maneuvering. Also, avoiding overlap of the space by an object will better accommodate devices with front tillers. The standards also address ground and floor surfaces. The surfaces must be firm, stable, and slip resistant, and changes in level must be properly treated. Abrupt level changes can be difficult to negotiate and can catch front casters unless properly edged or sloped. Changes in level up to one quarter inch are permitted without treatment. Level changes up to half an inch 
must be beveled with a slope no steeper than 1 to 2. Changes in level higher than half an inch must be ramped. The standards also limit openings, such as grates, in ground and floor surfaces. Surface openings that are too wide can catch wheelchair front casters, as well as the tips of crutches and walkers. Openings in accessible surfaces cannot exceed half an inch in one dimension. Openings must be oriented so that the long dimension is perpendicular to the direction of travel. Carpet that is thick, soft, or loose can make wheelchair maneuvering difficult. The standards address pile height and texture and require that carpet be firmly secured. Otherwise, rolling or buckling can occur, greatly impairing wheelchair travel. Proper securement is needed to prevent carpet from rolling or shifting. Wheelchair space is required at accessible building elements. In general, this space can be oriented for a forward or side approach, but a forward approach is required at certain elements such as drinking fountains. This space must be at least 30 inches wide and 48 inches long. If space for a forward approach is recessed in an alcove or otherwise confined on both sides more than 24 inches, the width is increased to 36 inches. Clear floor space can be oriented for a side approach at most elements. For side approaches, space that is recessed or confined on both sides more than 15 inches must be at least 60 inches deep to facilitate maneuvering into the space. Space for knees and toes allows people using wheelchairs to pull up sufficiently to elements such as drinking fountains, lavatories and sinks, and dining and work surfaces. Space for toes is 9 inches high and 6 inches deep. The clearance must increase to 27 inches over a span of 3 inches, or a rate of 6 to 1. The remainder of the space to the leading edge must provide a clearance of at least 27 inches for knees. These clearances allow room for plumbing, enclosures, and supports which cannot protrude into the knee and toe space. Where knee and toe space is required, it must be at least 17 inches deep. The maximum total depth is 25 inches. Space beyond this depth is not usable. Accessible reach ranges extend from 48 inches to 15 inches above the floor or ground. This applies to the operable parts of an element. Forward reaches do not extend far beyond the toes. For this reason, the reach depth over an object cannot exceed the available knee and toe space below. If the reach depth is greater than 20 inches, the maximum height is reduced from 48 inches to 44 inches. The reach depth, like the knee and toe space, is limited to 25 inches. The side reach range is also 48 inches to 15 inches if unobstructed. Obstructions are limited to a height of 34 inches. The 48 inch maximum height is permitted to a depth of 10 inches. The maximum height reduces to 46 inches beyond a 10 inch depth up to the maximum depth of 24 inches. The reach to objects located in corners can be difficult because of the side reach radius. It is advisable, though not specifically required in the standards, to avoid locating objects in corners accessed only from a side approach. Further guidance on the ADA and ABA standards is available from the U.S. Access Board. This animation was developed by the U.S. Access Board in cooperation with the federal agencies that issue the ADA and ABA standards.